Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I have a new layout for the scrap room using the Double Shot Kit. And this one features the Simple Stories Quarantined Collection. Um, I am going to create several layers, but actually it's a pretty clean and simple layout for the most part. Um, and it goes pretty fast in the video. So hopefully you're able to track with me. Just ask any questions that you have down below. So I'm working with a big picture today, and it's a picture of my daughter with two of her friends. A couple times during lockdown, we met at a park and went for a socially distanced walk. And so I took a picture of them at one point and I decided to blow that up to really show the space, I guess is the best way to put it. It felt like in a four by six photo, it got a little lost. So blowing it up to a big eight by 10 allowed me to really showcase um, the distance between them. Now, the next thing I'm doing is I am using some of the cut apart cards, but I'm not using them for journaling today. I'm actually tucking them underneath the photo and using them kind of like tabs as an embellishment element, really. And I'm layering various colors. You can see that I cut that one. I cut the top right off before I tucked it in. And I was pretty specific in my choices here. Um, I wanted them to be bold. I also wanted the words to have something to do with that point because while all of these collections about COVID-19 and being quarantined have a lot of really cool elements, I don't think all the elements actually apply to almost anyone. So there's some parts that I'm like, yeah, okay, make a list of books that you read. Well, there's only five spots and I read like 25. <laughs> so things like that, like you definitely have to adjust. And since this layout is about taking a walk, I needed to have at least some relevance to the actual walk. Now I backed my white cardstock with that really pretty coral heart paper. And then I am taking the striped paper now and I am just going to tuck it underneath. And I'm just doing pieces of it, some of them taller, some of them shorter, staggering where they end. Um, obviously all tucking underneath the photo, but staggering the bottom, um, just to create some interesting dimension and texture throughout the layout. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, and it just is a good way to bring in a lot of the patterns without feeling overwhelmed by the busyness and colors of the stripes otherwise. Now you'll also notice that I'm adding some 3D foam adhesive underneath each of the bottom of those. I'm just doing that at the bottom to kind of make them flip up a little bit, um, but not too heavy. I really want the eye to be drawn into the photo as well as the cards up above and the title, which is coming. I'm also going to add on a border sticker to separate the patterned paper and the picture. Now, you will notice that um, I don't have a title at this point. I did not have one that I loved that I felt really fit the layout within the page kit. So I decided to dig into my stash for that. Um, so I'm gonna add the scallop border and then I will get the title on there. Now these page kits, the double shot kit comes with two page kits. Um, it includes pattern paper, it includes cardstock, and it includes some embellishments. And you know, 75% of the time, maybe even more, I'm able to do pretty much my entire layout with it, except I always have to add Nouveau drops or enamel dots at the end. Sometimes I pull from my stash for the title. Um, very, very rarely do I ever need anything else from my stash though. Um, so today, like I said, was one of those times when I needed to pull my title from my stash. Um, and so I'm kind of really at this point still thinking about what I want to do with my title as I add some additional embellishments. Now you can see I added that sticker on there with words. Um, I added it on again with some 3D foam squares just to make it pop up, have some added dimension. Um, my tabs up top are all flat. And so I'm trying really hard to just create some added interest within the layout. I'm gonna add some heart stickers that come from the sticker page here. Um, and once again, some of them I'm gonna pop up with 3D foam squares. Some of them I'm going to put flat. Um, if I have them one right next to each other, one of them is gonna be raised for sure. And the other one is gonna be flat for sure. That just really helps them to both look like they're a separate um, entity. 
And so you can see I'm kind of just staggering those across the top of the layout, following where the tabs land, um, and just creating a little bit of whimsy really at the top there. Now this is the kind of thing that I would typically do with say enamel dots or Nouveau drops, but because I have these really cool hearts within the page kit, I thought that would be a great addition. So for my title, I am gonna add that off camera, but I wanna talk about it. I used an acrylic title piece that says Friends um, for my title, and I added that with some glue dots, and I'll show you a picture here at the end of it. I really like how it turned out. That actually came from Bella Boulevard, and it was a perfect addition, really. The color was a great match and everything. So let's take a look at that. What I love the most about the title is that I was able to use the stickers as well. So I have friends staying connected six feet apart. Um, and I think that's just kind of a fun, cute take on 2020. So there you have it. That's my layout using the quarantined page kit from the double shot kit from the scrap room this month. Be sure to swing by their site to see more of their kits. And we will see you again next time.